This is Waffenham's Kitchen. What we're doing today is a salmon salad mix. What we have here is pickles, onions, green peppers, Norwegian salmon. You get to see that later. But really what you wanna do first is season that salad. Now, the misconception is that you don't wanna get lettuce wet. The reality is, put a little of this on here. Yes, this is soy sauce. Put some garlic powder. Remember, not too much. All right. Huge on sea salt. Sea salt everything, right? Can't go wrong. You want to get intimate with this salad. I'm telling you, it comes out tasting so much better. Get you a lemon, squeeze that lemon on there. Oh yeah, baby, killing it. Now we have the Norwegian salmon. Now remember, sea salt is your friend. It really accentuates the flavor and, and gives you this texture that's, that's gonna maintain. Let me see what we got here. Put this on the outside, all right? Put you a little bit of wine or a lot. It, it's up to you. All right, yeah, that's very good, very good. Garlic powder, boom. On the outside too. All right, then we're gonna take a couple things of butter because it helps, all right? Now these lemons, you squeeze them, keep them going, baby, keep them going. Uh. And you're gonna put that in the oven on broil for roughly 10 minutes. Let's go. Here we are in this skillet, Wappenham's kitchen. Truth be told, you wanna get it as hot as you're gonna have it before you put anything on it. And you wanna hear something like this. Oh yeah, baby. Get those onions and green peppers going, baby. Wops off. Now with salmon, for all you sushi lovers, essentially, you don't have to cook this. You can cut you off a nice slice right here. Peel that off. Mm. Yeah, but anyway, for all those who don't like sushi, it's off to the broil. Like I said, put that broil on high, pop that baby in there, and keep an eye on it. It might be cooked faster than you think. So when you're going back to check on this salmon, you can almost smell when it's done, but take it out of there, swash it around. You'll hear that sizzle. Yeah, that's done, baby. Let's go. Now that we've got the salmon done, what we have here is a board for two people to eat on. The salmon's cooked two different ways. You get your, get your lettuce, right? You mix it in, right? Get you some green peppers, onions, boom, right? Get you some of that juice that came originally. Now we top this off with some kikumon. Right? And I'm gonna tell you something. When it comes down to it, you can eat this for any meal. I mean, it depends on what you eat for breakfast. But when it comes down to overall health and getting full, doing this at home will make you feel accomplished. You don't have to have a star from Michelin to be a chef. Let's go, baby. This is Wappenham's Kitchen.